to a, a last topic, and that is a small cell lung cancer. Uh, we have actually had a few real advances in the last year now with the uh, positive results of now two trials combining chemotherapy with immunotherapy. But at ASCO, the, I would say the most interesting data that we saw in small cell was with a novel agent. It's actually from a, a marine animal, uh, lurbinectidin or marine product. Uh, and uh, lurbinectidin has uh, been looked at in combination with an older chemotherapy, uh, adriamycin, doxorubicin, uh, and has looked encouraging in previously treated patients with relapsed small cell lung cancer. This trial was just single agent lurbinectidin, which uh, showed encouraging activity as a single agent in this phase two trial with a 35% response rate. And it was higher in patients with uh, with uh, a good long interval of three months, uh, at least three months between their last chemo and their relapse. And that's pretty typical to see the patients with a longer interval before progression doing better. Uh, but 35% uh, is a, an encouraging response rate, though this is not a comparative trial compared to another effective treatment. Uh, what do you see from these data, do you think that this is likely to translate to a meaningful treatment approach? And do you see it being used as a single agent or more likely in combination with, with chemo, where it obviously has more side effects in terms of lowering blood counts and causing fatigue? Charu? So I think everyone was surprised at the single agent activity of this agent, I think including <laughs> perhaps the company who I think is, <laughs> is <laughs> was not expecting this. And I think, where do we go next with this? I mean, do we now combine it with doxorubicin? Um, or, you know, will we be convinced enough to just use it as single agent? So um, I think very encouraging data. It seems like it was relatively well tolerated. And I think it may be able to make really a place for itself. Uh, now that we really don't have good second line options, you know, now that we're using chemoimmunotherapy routinely, what will I use second line? And if um, an agent like this is available, I think it becomes very attractive. Ben, what are your thoughts here? Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to try, to try to pronounce the name of the drug again because you've done it twice successfully. Mm -hmm. Um, but the, the, you know, it's encouraging response rates. Historically, we've not seen this type of activity in, in a very aggressive biology with small cell response rate in the 30s for the platinum sensitive patients response rate north of 40% well tolerated for the most part. Um, I would be in favor. I mean, we don't have, I mean, topo tecan. I mean, we're, we're, we're in the dark ages with small cell uh, and, and second line drugs. Of course, we now have a TZO in combination with platinum doublet. Um, I think this is going to be a reasonable option. I agree with Charo. I think that everyone was quite surprised. We've not seen these types of response rates. And I, it's a welcome change. And yes. it's just been along the lines of what we need in all these different uh, tumor types. Small cell has been left behind for the most part, but this is very refreshing to see. And I would say that, uh, as, as Chara mentioned, it'll, I think there's going to be more interest in it as a single agent than with chemotherapy, given the toxicity issues. And even though the, the large comparative trial that's being done is with a combination, I think that given the, the signal of very good activity and better tolerability as a single agent, there's going to be a lot of interest in that. And as you mentioned, uh, Ben, the... Uh, you know, with immunotherapy being integrated into first-line therapy, that leaves a, a big void. I mean, there's still topo tecan, but everyone is looking for something to supplant that. So, great. Uh, ben and Charu, thank you both so much for your time and insights today. It's, it's really great. I know that the, the patients out there are looking for a summary of what this should mean and uh, even though a lot of this is not going to translate to treatments, uh, new options immediately, I think that we're poised to see the implications of these results uh, improve outcomes and improve options for a lot of patients with lung cancer in the next year or two. So thank you both so much for joining. Thanks, Jack. Thank you, Jack. Thank you Ben. Thank you, Charu. 
And uh, apologies to you both for keeping you guys waiting. I apologize for that. Okay.